Yo guys, Jarek here, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. You probably saw this one coming. I've uploaded gameplay of this game every once in a while. I did a full playthrough of all the other Halo games, so I figured after Halo Reach, why not just do a full playthrough, do, make an official playthrough of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Uh, honestly, this is the only Halo game that I actually continuously go back and play. I don't know what it is, uh, but it's an addicting game, and it is definitely not... It's an acquired taste on top of that. The first few times I played Halo 1, I... You know, I was kind of indifferent. I didn't care a whole lot for it. The maps were very puzzly. You didn't know where to go. The whole level looks the same. The first 10 feet's copy-pasted. But once you understand the actual format of the level, you can kind of completely overlook that, and it becomes very fun. I mean, it may not have very enemy... It may not have very many enemy types, but they're all fun to fight. They're very, very fun to fight, with the exception of the Flood. The Flood's just terrible to fight no matter what Halo game. But all the elites in this game are very fun to fight. And uh, that probably has something to do with it. It's a very acquired taste for this game, and I will continue to go back and play it. This is definitely one of those games where I cannot feel nostalgia over it, because I never stopped playing it. And I can say the same thing about Half-Life 1. I can't get nostalgic over it, because I never stopped playing it. Okay, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to play through it on Heroic for you guys. Level to level, and uh, it shouldn't take as long as my Halo Reach playthrough, just because I actually want to play this. Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. <sighs> we made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now. Nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at their stations. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report in your action station. Secure air loss on deck 11. 14 platoon rendezvous with 22nd tactical at Bolthead Charlie 14. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Man. Here's where we show those split chin squid head sons of bitches that they could not have picked a worse enemy than the human race. We are going to blow the hell out of those dumb bugs until we don't have anything left to shoot them with. And then we are going to strangle them with their own living guts. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out. Double time. Attention, all personnel. We are re engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is going to be your lucky day. Wow. Sir? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. 
bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot, blowing the pins in five. Come on, we've got to get the hell out of here. Best part about starting on Heroic? No stupid tutorial. You're gonna die, I might as well watch you explode. Oh, boom! You dead. Now, like I was saying earlier, this game is a very... There's a very big acquired taste in this game. Now, if you're asking me, well, if there's such an acquired taste, why do you keep playing? The main reason I continued to play was uh, the multiplayer. I love Halo 1's multiplayer. It's still easily one of my favorite multiplayer games is Halo 1. And none of the other Halo games really captured what Halo 1 did for the multiplayer, probably just because of the pistol. Um, but yeah, that's the reason I continued to play, and to be completely honest, I think the single player was just a little bit overrated. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's fun and it's addicting, but so many people will hold that as the best shooter of all time, and no, it's not even close to that. They, they never played a game called Half-Life 1. Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant Superior battleships against a single Halcyon class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three. Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am, fire control for the main cannon is offline. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the auto. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a matter of speaking, the object we found. I'm going to try and land the auto on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. Protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Hmm. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. That's the biggest lie. It is totally loaded. Anyway. So, they also add in these logs to Halo Anniversary, and a lot of you know this. If you don't know this, I don't know where you've been. Uh, but they added in these logs that... I'm forgetting his name. The, the Guilty Spark. And uh, I'll just show you. By order of Ecumen Council, proximity to Installation 04 is forbidden. Your continued presence will result in most unpleasant countermeasures. I must insist that you immediately change course and return to a minimum safe distance of one light year. This has served as your one and final warning. I have activated defensive systems, and you now have 30 seconds to return to the minimum safe distance of... Wait. Kill 
Alright, so there's one of those each level, uh, and I'm going to be including them in this playthrough. Because they're actually kind of interesting. Also, yeah, biggest lie, it's totally loaded. Or half loaded. Oh, oh, I thought they... <laughs> I was gonna say I thought one of them got struck, uh, stuck, but whatever, he's dead. God, I missed this pistol! And I find it interesting. So the pistol in Halo 1, I guess I will wait until I find some ammo for it, because I'm forgetting the actual caliber it's supposed to be using. Um, so, I'll wait for a minute to talk about what I was gonna say. Here we go. Alright, so, this is the caliber it was supposed to use, and I accidentally just picked it up. <laughs> Lol, oops. Oh, you wanna get shot some more? But yeah, that's the caliber it's supposed to use. Basically, it doesn't exist in real life, but it would be about the equivalent of a 50 cal. Uh, whereas in Halo Reach, it was just a 45 ACP when it comes to the pistol. So I find that interesting, because, I mean, it's not like Halo Reach happened 50 years or so before Halo 1. It happened just moments before. So, suddenly, this pistol got a upgrade to a 50 cal from a 45 ACP within, like, a few hours. Some dumbass marines. There we go. There's the round. It's so a 12.7 by 40. Pretty much would be the equivalent of a 50 cal. They're using our life mode airlocks to attach their boarding shaft. We go out and they come in. I also forgot to check something. Uh, they allow you to, if you want to, switch the music from classic to or from remastered to classic. Now, you might think, why would you ever want to do this? I mean, the new music is basically the same thing, just a lot clearer and redone and everything. Uh, but there is a few tracks that are a little bit different. Like, there's one track on the Silent Cartographer that was completely badass in Halo 1. But in Halo Anniversary, it is, like, terrible. They ruined it. So I switch it back just for that one track. Ooh. Oh, how'd you miss? Or, how'd, how did I miss? My god, I miss this assault rifle. I miss all the guns in Halo 1. Like, Halo 1's guns felt strong. They felt like they were actually going to do damage when you shot them. Every Halo after that, the guns just kind of felt like toys. I mean, Reach kind of did a, a better job with that, but... It's nowhere near as good as Halo 1. On top of that, god, the sound design they did, they had the clear raw files for all the guns for Halo Anniversary compared to Halo 1. They sound so satisfying. Whoa, my aim is bad. Ball stuck. Also, I forgot to mention, you can just do this. Where the Marines go? Yeah, Halo 1 graphics, in case you forgot how much better... Oh, they went over there. In case you forgot how much better it looked. 
Also, when it comes to Halo 1 graphics, you can do this. Never ending puddle of blood. Although it doesn't seem to be slowing my 360 down here. Oh, wow, it's not doing it that time. Like, if you do that enough with the Halo 1 graphics, it'll make your Xbox lag so hard. Oh, I turned around, damn it. What? Oh, I still have some overshield left. I can solve that. There we go. All right then. Something I hate about the new graphics though, like they did an amazing job in general with the graphics. There's so much detail and so much polish. But when it comes to the Halo 1 pistol, when you pull it out, the chamber is just like flat, almost like a closed chamber, which would be stupid because then you can't really clear your pistol out. You have to drop the magazine and fiddle with it. But yeah, if you go to the Halo 1 graphics and you pull the pistol out, you see the bullet in the chamber. I, I don't see any reason why they would not add in that little detail into the Halo Anniversary version. Like I honestly do not. I find it funny how the assault rifle in this game works like an SMG basically. You're only ever going to want to use it up close, point blank. But while I'm at it, whoa, textures loading in. You know, I love this assault rifle, but. Oh, the door closed and locked behind me, damn it. The plasma rifle in Halo 1 was really, really effective. Granada! Lost stuck. <laughs> Get down there. Where's your gun? I like punted your gun off somewhere. I have no idea where it went. There's another body down here. Whoa, where am I going? Ah, oh, here we go. I thought his gun went over the edge, apparently it didn't. Yeah, this gun was really good in Halo 1. It was actually really strong, but I, after Halo 1, it just became kind of weak and not really effective. Unless you're dual wielding. Good god, the plasma rifle pistol dual wielding combo was ridiculous. In both Halo 2 and Halo 3. Ow. Like, it basically was the equivalent... Oh, I forgot about this elite. How did I look right by him? Yeah, it basically was the equivalent to the assault rifle. Now it's multiplayer regions. Regions? Regions. Man, look at how good that looked! Closing. We have 
to use the ship's maintenance access ways. Follow the nav point and lead you to an opening. I know this is where I need to go. Open the door. Someone signed on. I can't have that happen. There. Leave me alone. I'm playing games. Something this plasma rifle has that the assault rifle doesn't have is accuracy. Holy shit, the assault rifle is not accurate at all. It looks like the covenant wanted to catch you <laughs> Wow, they didn't start shooting for once, they just ran away. Except for you. How are you still alive? Oh, now it's dead. Granada! So many explosions. The damage to superstructure is extensive. I don't know how much more abuse the auto Man, elites are contortionists. Holy shit. All stuck. Everyone dead. Ah, oh, here we go. Granadas! God, I miss these Halo 1 grenades. They were so strong. One last light bulb. Quickly, get aboard before it launches. Now would be a very good time to leave. Thing, Lieutenant. 